forward head posture and why should I care? Ideally, the head should sit directly on the neck and shoulders like a golf ball sitting on a tee. This allows the normal cervical muscles of the neck and the upper trapezius muscles at the base of the neck to support the head. As the neck protrudes forward to accommodate our daily activities, an increased load is placed on the muscles of the neck and upper back. Just imagine your head again is like perhaps a basketball and if you bend forward that basketball will roll forward. However, the muscles at the upper back and neck are designed to hold the head in place. But as our head falls forward with poor posture, those upper muscles of the back and neck start to become distorted and overworked. Since the weight of the head is similar to that of a bowling ball, 12 to 14 pound, you can easily see just how much strain we are talking about. In fact, it is said by researchers that for every inch that the head projects forward, the weight experienced by the muscles of the neck doubles. For example, if the head weighs 10 pound, two inches of forward head posture would result in the equivalent of 40 pounds of strain placed on the muscles of the neck. Our neck were designed to hold 10 to 14 pounds, not 40 or more pounds. This can result in pain and tension in any area of the body. Just imagine that you are sitting with an iPad, a Kindle or an iPhone in your hand looking at it for hours a day or similarly looking at a laptop which is sitting on the desk or sitting in your lap you are going at the end of that day to experience an absolute excruciating splitting headache. Forward posture like this can also result in range of symptoms such as poor sleep, lack of energy, reduced breathing capacity, back, neck and shoulder pains, pains and headache including migraines. Chiropractors, osteopaths and physiotherapists as well as doctors are seeing patients all day long who are coming in with these problems and probably not realising where they are coming from. Researchers now are warning the public that iPad and tablet related neck injuries are a very real risk indeed. The Harvard School of Public Health in America researchers are warning that the use of an iPad or any other tablet risks the development of repetitive stress injuries to the neck or shoulders. Imagine how this is going to have an impact on young children who are often looking at these devices after school and some of them are even looking at it during school. We can positively say that prolonged neck flexion, which means your head in too forward a position, is dangerous to your health. Did you realise that this is actually a modern health epidemic of huge proportions? We used to talk 15 to 20 years ago of RSI, which stood for repetitive strain injury. This referred to the injuries of wrist, hands and upper neck muscles through people using a typewriter or a keyboard. But this new epidemic today of forward head posture is even more dangerous as it builds up over time without you realising the harm that you're doing. How do you get the simplest solution to a problem? Ask a kid. Amazing. Meet Ellie Jane. Hello Ellie Jane. Ellie Jane's grandmother had a problem. She couldn't easily read on her iPad and keep them comfortable at a comfortable angle that enabled her to get an optimal view of the screen without actually being uncomfortable. Thirteen-year-old Ellie did some research and found that there were stands on the market to hold the iPad, but they did not do the job well enough. So she got out her mother's sewing machine and invented her own. Padpod was born. Wow! What's a padpod? 
Ellie's pyramid shaped bean bag is stable on your lap when you are lying in bed or when it is placed on a table or a desk. Your iPad, Kindle, smartphone or whatever can be placed on it at any angle that's comfortable. It can be used at work or at home, in bed, in a plane, in a car, anywhere. You can use your pad pod to hold anything. iPad, Kindle, cookbooks. It looks simple, it's elegant and effective. This pad pod is designed for comfort. It's really amazing that some of the most simplest designs that have been made have been so simple that you'd hardly believe it's possible. And yet when you see them, like this pad pod, you'd say, it's amazing, why didn't I think of it before? Good on you, Ellie, well done.